Hello everybody, welcome to uh, another instructional video, this time straight from the old school, our Barber Academy. Today we're going to do a flat top step by step. There's already two other step by step videos online, if you want us to do more, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, here we go. So, guys, welcome to the old school. Today, we're going to do one of my absolute favorite haircuts in the world, the flat top. Now, the flat top is a little bit of a mystical haircut. I think it's a real, well, barber's haircut. I also think that a lot of people think it's way harder than it is. It is really, really not the hardest haircut in the world. It's just a little bit different because there's a lot of freehand techniques and you gotta definitely be secure about what you're doing. There's also a lot of different flat tops. You got your flat top with fenders, you got your, um, the military flat top, which is way shorter. You got your horseshoe flat top where the crown is completely bold. Of course, you got your psychobilly quiff, you got your normal quiff. It's all based on the flat top. But the main feature of the flat top is, of course, a flat top. So, I'm gonna show you today the, uh, my technique. Again, for the flat top, there are a lot of different techniques you can use. This is not the best technique. It works for me, but you know, there are so many amazing barbers out there that have their own techniques. My advice is, Watch as many videos as you can and just try all those techniques and combine them till your favorite way of working comes out. Yeah? I'm gonna start with my first section. As always, starting on the parietal ridge, following the natural implant of the hair. Yeah? So you can see how the hair, and that's the line I'm gonna follow. Boom, so you're gonna save this hair till later because this is of course gonna be my flat topped section, yeah? Now, for a flat top, you want your haircut to be square, duh, right? Because that is what makes the flat top the flat top. Now, you can do this in different ways. Most guys want their flat top to go inwards a little bit, those angles, because otherwise they think it takes too short to redo their haircut. But today, I want to go for a very traditional kind of white flat top, yeah? So that means I'm gonna set in that square angle right away. I'm gonna lift all that hair See, and that's where my angle is going to be. So I'm pulling it out. See, and I set in my first line. And I'm going to follow that same line into the nape area. By lifting all the hair under your section, you're going to secure your straight angle. See? Moving around your client or model, setting in that square angle. And as you can tell, my arms are not moving, my body is moving. So one step, another step. So you're in control throughout your haircut. I'm making sure that that first baseline is straight. Now, that nice round baseline you're going to get by taking little steps and lifting the hair straight up. Next step is to follow the previous guideline, making sure we got square sides, so I'm looking at that length right there. One, 
two, three. See, I'm only looking at that baseline. I'm hardly looking at what's going on under there. You want that side to be square. And again, you walk around your client. Make sure that you're always behind your work. Yes? As you can tell, this line is already perfectly straight, going up into that angle. Yes? Gonna remove a little bit of hair under that baseline. See? One. And all the time you look at your previous cut line and that's the one you follow. Remove bulk While fading upwards, you continually keep looking at the length in your baseline. This is all with clippers set to zero. See, at this point, if you want to do your skin fade or if you want to flip on your guard that is perfectly fine I like working without my guards especially on this coarse thick kind of gingerish hair because as you can tell there's little cowlicks right I like to stay in control during my fading plus this is just removing a lot of bulk because I'm gonna perfect the shape of my flat top or which haircut you want to do after I dry the hair this is my clipper set to half so completely open on the babyless FX Pro removing a little bit of hair same story here now my friend's toe hair has really, really thick coarse hair. Really nice hair to do a flat top in. See, a little bit of cowlick hair, all the hair growing up. So I'm going to change the movement of my clippers and comb. All the while looking at the natural growth of the hair. Opening up. and look at the pattern of growth see fitting the whole thing in boom so here you got your square side okay so I'm gonna take out a little bit of hair in the front I always kind of follow the natural implant in the temple area as well see so this is where the hair starts going to take out a little bit of the triangle because I don't really know how long I want to keep that hair right over there yes I'm going to take pretty much all the hair on top because the top is pretty short see if it would have been longer I wouldn't do it in like two or three sections yes I'm going to take my clipper comb again and what I'm going to do here, 
I'm going to connect the hair on top to that previous cut baseline in exactly the same manner as I started my haircut. There you go. One step, two step, three step. So what you did here is connect the hair on top to the sides. It's just, it's that fast. If you are for a second insecure with clippers, you can also always move to your scissors, which do exactly the same thing. Because basically a pair of clippers is nothing but a whole row of little scissors. They open, they close, and they cut the hair off. So. If you want to use scissors, pull the hair down, look for your baseline and connect the hair in a heavy manner to your baseline. And that way your square angle plus your connection to the hair on top is done. Okay, gonna repeat exactly the same thing on the other side. Here we go. When in doubt, cross check. Just go the other direction. By doing that, you can never miss a hair. Wetting the hair, again taking out the first triangle, see why do I take out that first triangle, up till here you can do whatever you want, right, so if you decide halfway the haircut that you want to have more of a pompadour-ish flat top, so a quiv, I really want to make sure I got some length to play with because I just never know what's going to happen, especially on a client that I haven't cut before. I'd rather have some hair to play with than hair that's gone, which I cannot cut anymore. See, combing it all down, lifting it up, same 90 degree angle, or if it makes you feel more comfortable, take your scissors and you do exactly the same thing, guys. See, you pull it all to the back, 90 angle degree, and you connect the hairs on top to your baseline. Now, for those that have seen our other videos, you can probably tell that the way of working is almost the same. See, it's a very fast way of removing a lot of bulk and removing a lot of hair. Okay, we're gonna move to the next step. Now this is a point of discussion, yeah? Some people like to use a flat top, flat top comb. Some like to use their normal clipper comb. It doesn't really matter what you like doing. The only thing I want to say about it is, don't let anybody ever tell you, 
Oh, you can't use that with the blah blah because then you don't know how to cut. I okay, I'm gonna use nice words here, but that is that is like a big pile of bullshit. The only thing that matters to me is that your client walks away happy. So if you want to do that with this one or that one, clippers, scissors, blending shears, I don't care if you take a blowtorch to somebody's head. If the guy walks out like, I feel good, that is the guy that's going to bring his best friend, his son and his father. And you know what? With all this Instagram stuff going on, yeah, likes, likes are important. Yeah, 8,000 likes on the Instagram post, very nice. But there's only one like that counts, the guy in the chair, right? So I'm going to show you both. What you can do is, I never use the flat top comb to do my final flat top. I do, however, like to use it to remove bulk. See? Because you can just like really fast remove a lot of hair to start your flat top with. Yeah? And there is nothing against using a flat top comb. Because basically, I know a lot of people that like the bigger clipper comb it's not much smaller than this one. So in the end, it's all the same. If you are more the type that likes to use this one, my personal favorite, because I got the feeling I'm a little bit more in control with it, I'm doing exactly the same thing. Just make sure that whatever you do, you always make sure your comb is flat. See, it doesn't really matter where you bring your comb towards too as long as it's flat and especially on the top yeah make sure that you move your comb backwards every time you set it in and the one two three see but as always I'm just removing bulk. I'm gonna start the haircut once the hair is dry. Yes, see? You look for a previous cut part and you take off the hair standing out. Taking all the hair up, following the previous cut line. Basically, till no hair comes out of your comb. See, you kind of remove enough hair so you got a nice shape to work with once the hair is dry and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now okay I'm gonna dry the hair this is the most important part of your flat top personally I think it's the most important part of every haircut while you're still working on it I'm gonna use a little bit of our Rusal fiber gel just for the blow drying to make the hair it's super coarse hair right it's just gonna let give a little bit more hold because you really want the hair to stand up in the shape of the final haircut very important so you're going to divide it through the hair now normally I would use the grooming tonic but especially on that super thick hair the fiber gel works really nice because it dries I'm gonna out. Start by using my vent brush. I want the hot air to go through my brush to look for the best shape of the cut. Once I got the basic shape, I'm gonna move to your classic Denman brush. Yeah, just to get that little wave in the front out.
See, first I'm going to drive my direction. Make sure that you repeat the same direction on both sides of the head. Yes? So you're going to blow one side straight up the other one, and the other one more to the back. You're going to have two different sides. Yeah, so make sure you dry the hair in all directions and while drying the hair keep your eyes open because while drying the hair and blowing it around you can tell a lot about the natural implant, cow legs, crown area, yeah, things that you might, that information you might need later in the haircut. Okay, after using my vent brush to set in the direction of the hair, I'm going to use my classic men's Denman brush just to add a little bit of straightening out that front. Okay, now that the hair is dried and blow dried, you can already see the shape of the haircut. Now that's how I like to work. With every haircut that I do, I like to remove a lot of hair dry it so I can see the shape of the cut so I can really work on the detail so up to here everything I did was just a sketch you can use this on any haircut you will ever do baseline work down from the baseline connect the top hair to the baseline dry and now we're gonna start our haircut yeah clipper set to zero Set in your first line of your flat top and what you're going to do is you're going to let the hair do the talking. See, I'm actually going a lot shorter than I did in my sketch with the big flat top comb. Yeah, that was removing bulk to see what the hair was going to do. What's the hair telling me? Now that it's dry, I'm gonna start the real haircut. Yeah? Now, first I go through the middle, setting in all the length in the middle. See, I'm gonna lift that whole crown area. Check, check again, see, during the flat top you keep checking if the hair is flat, makes sense, right? So the moment the hair in the middle is flat, that's when you're going to connect the sides, your angles to the length in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna set my model straight into the camera so you can see what's going on here. Yes. So the middle is flat, and now I'm gonna look for the sides by lifting them up and connecting them to the previous cut length. in the middle. Yes, make sure you're gonna go for that nice flat walk. Same story on the other side lifting it up see you look for your basic length in the middle and you're gonna follow the length in the middle okay. you're gonna keep repeating 
same technique till you're sure all the hair on top has been in your comb and checked. Double check, double check, double check again. If throughout the haircut you decide you want to go a little bit shorter, you go a little bit shorter. Yes, the beauty of the flat top is it's all up to you, right? Okay, I'm gonna double check my sides by bringing them up to the previous cut. Length on top. Double checking and blending the sides in. Of course, you're going to repeat the whole process on the other side. And remember, when you cut the hair dry, what you see is what you get. Yes, so forget about your technique, but you know, become a bit of a sculptor. It's really like, oh wait a minute, still got some hair left here, don't be afraid to go over it a little. Freehand. Now, freehand might look a little bit scary sometimes, but you gotta remember that as sharp as my clippers are, there is only a certain amount of hair they can cut. So, especially as you use your other hand. See, I kind of put it on the skull. Yeah, and I just kind of look which hairs I want to cut up. One of the main tricks of a flat top is during your flat top, don't be afraid to turn on your hair dryer again and just go through it. Yes, because during the cut the hair will slowly go down, so in between, turn it on, look for the same direction. So, the moment you're not really seeing any hairs coming, uh, sticking out of the top anymore. That's when we're going to go to the sides and refine the sides. Yes? Now, me personally, I like to use the mirror. Yes, normally in our barber shop, our clients are faced away from the mirror because we want to make them part of the whole barber shop experience. But with a flat top, you really want to see what you're doing. Transition is almost already there. I just kind of want to set it in even a little bit more outspoken. Again, what you see is what you get. So in this case, I actually want to go a little bit shorter in the temple area. 
to accentuate the front part to make it a little bit more rock and rollish, a little bit more pompadourish. But again, what you see is what you're gonna get. Don't be afraid to use a freehand technique. See, you might think I'm not using guards, but I'm actually using guards here. Why is that? Because this part of my hand here, I'm gonna put on the side of his head, and I'm gonna look how much hair I'm gonna take off. And as you can see, I kinda slide my hand over the skull, which is gonna be my guard. See, taking care of details. Going a little bit shorter. Right in front of the ear. This is my clipper set to half. So completely open, I'm gonna bring it down one notch. See, stay a little bit lower. Turn it down a notch. See, really wanna make that beard blend in. But very personal, of course. Now, as you can tell, I'm leaving my flat top pretty long. Yeah, I do that with a reason. See, first of all, I really love the shape with the face. See, it's going into the beard. Plus, for me, this is like your old school rockabilly flat top. Yeah, because it's a little longer in the front, you really got a, the pompadour feeling to it. I don't want to lose that, yeah? There's a little, see? It's still kind of moving. That is a very old school way of doing a flat top. Now, please, don't get me wrong. We are going to do a military flat top as well. You know, like shave everything off and only a little bit flat topped in the front. I love doing those too, but I want to give my client a haircut that fits the personality. I find that way more important than just giving a haircut. Okay, cleaning your outlines. See, don't get me wrong, I mean, I really think this flat top would look super nice with a skin fade too. But, um, maybe we'll do that next time, right? Okay, I'm gonna wet it one more time, slightly wet it. See, I'm not gonna drown the hair in water, just a little bit. I'm gonna dry it one more time. And then I'm gonna show you my little secret sauce to straighten the whole thing out. Okay, so this is my last little secret trick, right? And I know everybody's like, oh, really thinners? They're not thinners, they're blending scissors. Look at how close the teeth are to each other. You're gonna take away a lot of hair. I just wanna ask you guys to try this once, right? Your flat top already looks pretty good. But I'm just gonna go over it and I'm only gonna to touch the end of the hairs. Now by adding that micro bit of texture, that is actually gonna flatten your 
flat top to the max. If you really want your flat top to look as straight as possible, just go over it with your blending scissors. Not too much, just a little bit, but see the whole trick is just like when you cut a bob, sometimes it's better to use a little bit of point cutting to make that baseline look nice and blunt. That's the same way your blending scissors are just going to add a micro bit of texture that's actually going to make your flat top look even flatter. shape of the cut is completely done, my flat top is there, now I like to cut until the haircut doesn't really need product, but since it's an old school flat top, I'm going to use just a little bit of the pink, glue those hairs together, and sometimes when you use your product, you can actually see a couple of hairs jump out of there, especially when the hair is really thick and coarse. So, it is ju not just to groom the hair, it's also to check if there's any hairs coming out. See, divide the product all. <laughs> With the product, I'm going to comb it up one more time. even when there's product in there. I'm going to double check. Just see if there's any hair sticking out. Now, as you can tell, still a little bit old school. I left it quite long in the front. Yeah. I left my angles a little bit longer too. See, because I really wanted to keep a pompadoury feel to it. Yeah. So it's still a little bit combable. It's not a flat top with fenders. We're definitely going to do a flat top with fenders too. The moment I found a model, those sides are like really long and slick back into a DA. Really, really cool haircut too, but this is kind of in between. So, I really hope you guys enjoy my flat top. Um, I'm going to show you more variations soon. The flat top really is one of the most fun haircuts to do. So I suggest all you guys, you know, go out there, find a model or, you know, and practice, practice, practice. But the uh, yeah. most important thing, have fun with it, yeah? Everybody's got their own way, but I really think the flat top is the foundation of men's hair and the barbershop classics. If you can do a flat top, you can pretty much do every haircut in the book.